Look at these. They've just come out of the dishwasher. A quick rub and they gleam like new. They are not silver. If they were, I would need to polish them before every use, even after a short time, especially here by the sea. They are steel. If they were made of ordinary steel, I would need to oil them and polish them and generally spend a lot of time on them before every use. In the 19th century, servants spent a lot of time and energy making cutlery ready for use. It is one of the many reasons why the upper and middle classes had so many servants. I don't have to do this because they're made of stainless steel, one of the most underrated products of the 20th century. What defines stainless steel? Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. Stainless steels are steels containing at least 10.5% of chromium and less than 1.2% of carbon and other alloying elements. So why are they called stainless steels? Stainless steel contains elements such as nickel and chromium and others that give it a passive oxide layer that resists the formation of rust and contains a shiny reflective surface, like my knives and forks. The shiny surface of stainless steel is very difficult to tarnish and compared to plain steel, hence why it is called stainless steel. Stainless steel is naturally corrosion resistant, but it is not immune to rust. Exposure to damaging chemicals, saline, grease, moisture or heat for extended periods of time can cause corrosion. So resistance to rusting and tarnishing is clearly a huge advantage, not just for the people preparing for dinner parties. So where did it all begin? Harry Brearley was born in 1871 and died in 1948, and he was a British metallurgist. Born in Sheffield, England, Brearley worked as a metallurgical researcher for Brown Frith Laboratories in Sheffield. In 1913, he had inadvertently created stainless steel while trying to develop erosion-resistant gun barrels for the British Armed Forces. This had been a problem since the invention of guns. The chemical reaction of the propellant firing inside a barrel is highly corrosive. His discovery, which involved adding chromium to steel, resulted in a corrosion-resistant material with a wide range of applications. Brearley's invention had a profound effect on industry in various fields. In 1919, a patent had been filed for maronistic stainless steel, a forerunner of today's 410 different types of stainless steels. In 1929, William J. Cole discovered the process of precipitation hardening of stainless steel, and the first duplex stainless steels was produced in Sweden in 1930. Brewer's discovery of stainless steel revolutionised various industries, apart from gun barrels. One of the first applications was cutlery. Brearley was from Sheffield after all. Stainless steel is not only resistant to corrosion, there is something else. It is resistant to corrosion because it doesn't react with the substances it comes into contact with. For the same reason, the steel does not contaminate those substances. This is why it's used so much in the food industry, not just for cutlery. It's used for cooking utensils, water tanks, packaging and many, many other things. And stainless steel is an incredibly versatile material. Here are some common applications. Kitchenware, as we've seen. In the construction industry, it's commonly used for structural components such as building facades, roofing, reinforcement bars and fixtures thanks to its strength and its resistance to weathering. Stainless steel is preferred in medical and healthcare settings for surgical instruments, medical devices, implants and the equipment due to the biocompatibility. It doesn't easily interact with your body on a chemical level. Sterilization capacity and resistance to corrosion are naturally very important. It is used in the chemical and pharmaceutical industries for tanks, piping, valves and equipment handling corrosive substances due to its aforementioned resistance to chemical attack and it's easy to clean. Stainless steel is used in the energy sector for various applications including power generation, 
oil and gas processing and renewable energy systems due to its high strength, corrosion resistance and thermal stability. Stainless steel is widely used in the food industry for processing equipment, storage tanks, conveyors and packaging machinery for the same reasons as we've mentioned before. In aerospace, its applications um, for components such as aircraft frames, turbine blades, fasteners due to the fact that they're lightweight, strong and again resistant to corrosion and at high temperatures. All sorts of consumer goods are also made of stainless steel. For example, cutlery, watches, jewellery, electronics, and again, it has a great aesthetic appeal. It's durable and again, resistant to corrosion and wear. Stainless steel is everywhere. It's all around us. So much so we hardly notice it, but we'd soon notice it if it were gone. Bye for now.